Welcome to interview. Today we continue our focus on the Chefs in Schools program and initiative of the St. Lucia Hotel and Tourism Association. Today we have with us a couple of students from the Barbano Secondary School who will be telling us of their experience going into the Chefs in School initiative. Welcome both of you. First of all, Sarah Popo and Arifa St. Edward. Welcome to the Students of the Government Information Service. Thank you. First of all, Sarah, tell us about your experience, how you were able to be selected to enter the Chefs in School program. I was able to be selected into the Chefs in Schools program because my teacher saw I had anxiety and potential into the subject. She knew I had fun and I liked the subject so much. What about you, Arifa? My, I got chosen to take part in the competition because my teacher realized that I have the passion for the subject. I love to cook and in the future, God's willing, I would like to become a culinary or pastry chef. Oh, great. So it, it wasn't a case that you had to go into a runoff with some of the other students or you were just that outstanding that they decided they would have taken it of you? Yes. That was the case. Okay, so how has, has the experience been so far? Because you know that you've been attached to a particular hotel and a mentor who's really taking you through the procedures that you would need to, to know before going into the competition. How has that experience been? The experience has been very good and fun. I learned different techniques and skills. Also, part of this skill will bring me forward to my SBAs as well at school. And that's all. Well, it has been a tremendous experience because there I learned how to garnish, decorate food items and also knife skills because I was not too good at it. So there I get to learn new skills. So where is that attachment? Any, any particular hotel that you're at? Could you tell us the hotel? We are at Big Garden Sea Grips with Chef Peter who won the gold medal in Miami in the competition. So you feel very competent and confident that you have a good chef really taking you through the ropes? Yes. yes. Okay. At the hotel, how has the experience been like working alongside other persons in, in the kitchen and seeing the operations of the hotel? Has that inspired you to even have greater focus on be, becoming a chef when you leave school? Yes, it has given me a lot of confidence and potential. Well, also, it will push me forward to be a better person in life, as I would like to be an executive sous chef. I would like to be proud of myself. I would like to, I would like to say all the other skills, like to push people to know all the other skills and techniques that I have learned. So if you tell us what, what is a, a, a regular day like at the hotel and your interaction with the other members who would be around the kitchen, how, is it like? how often do you go to the hotel, first of all, and what do you do when you do go with the chef who's actually training you for the competition? Well, we go there three days a week. There we practice our dishes. The kitchen is always bursting with excitement. The staff are friendly. And there we always learn something new every day. Okay, now we're going to get into some meaty problems, no, no, no pun intended, but the actual competition that you are going to be going in locally and you know that you're going to head off into a regional competition so you must be looking work, actually working towards that so there, there's also your your signature dish and also there's a mystery basket so tell us you know how you're preparing for these two elements of the competition sarah you first well we are preparing a lot of different items trying to use more of our local dishes here that's what we are trying to do and work on our decoration more. Arifa? Well, our dish is a surprise, so on the day you'll get to know. It is a local dish, actually. But what we are doing, we are trying to work on our, our plating, the way it, our presentation of the dish. So that's what we are trying to work on now. OK, so these two aspects of, of the competition the mystery and the signature do you find it's a, a bit of a challenge to differentiate how you're actually going to approach preparation for those two aspects well yes actually yes which you find more challenging the, the, the mystery basket uh, i'm sure 
person the should mystery. ask you. Because you don't know what's in there. So how do you plan for it? Well, how do you prepare for it? We will prepare what's when the box is open. We will just see what's inside and try to put our best out there to show the skills we have. Okay, um, as we close up, what would you like to say to your other schoolmates uh, about the experience that you're having so far? Well, I, it's unfortunate that everyone cannot get the opportunity, but like it's a great experience and I, I would like to say to my fellow colleagues that if they get the opportunity to take part in any of these competitions, that they go for it because in the future, it will help you. Sarah? Well, I would like to say to my fellow colleagues as well, I will tell them congratulations for getting there into the competition as well. And it's not everybody that all they wanted, it's not everybody that could get it. So I'd like to say congratulations to them too. Well, we've come to the end of our first part of our program here on interview. We had with us Sarah Popo and Arifa St. Edward out of the Babylon Secondary School of the participants in the Chefs in Schools program. We'll take our break. We'll be back in just a moment. What's in the food you're eating? Do you really even know? All the chemicals and hormones used to accelerate their growth. All the artificial flavoring, sweeteners and colors too. We consume and we don't spare a thought for the damage that they'll do. The damage that no. they do. Think about the children. Think about the children. How will we save them? Chemicals and GMOs are not the solution. Use organic and join. Excessive agrochemical use, additives, and genetically modified foods are harmful to health and the environment. Join the good food revolution. Grow, buy, and consume organic. A message from Rise St. Lucia and the Ministry of Sustainable Development with funding from the GEF Small Grants Program, UNDP. The good food revolution. Thanks for staying with us. We continue with interview. Now we have two students from the Trezel Secondary in Marissa Jean and Zeda Fatal. Welcome both of you. Thank and you. we are looking at, as we told you earlier, the Chefs in School program, the initiative of the Central Hotel and Tourism Association. First of all, ladies, tell us how you all got involved, how you became the two students who were chosen to be involved in this program. Yeah, Marissa. Well, I got involved in the chef, the chef in school program when when they wanted two students from each school to represent to go for the competition, and our teacher found us suitable f to enter because of, of our passion for art and for our passion for cooking. Okay, and, and Zila, why? Well, it first started when a group of chefs came to our school to do a presentation on different dishes and I was very passionate and determined about the subject and the work behind it and then my teacher found me suitable to take part in this competition. So just by your opening you seem that both of you are very excited ab about this program aren't you? Yes. yes. Okay tell us how you are continuing your preparation to go into the chefs in school competition. Well we are preparing by we for we are preparing our signature dish, we try different things. We have our dish, but we are working on our plating right now. And for the mystery basket, we are trying different proteins, different things. So, because we wouldn't know what is what exactly is in the mystery basket. Zina, well, we we are getting ready for this competition by we have training like mostly every day, and like we are determined to do the work and. Uh, for the mystery basket, the chef gave us like different dishes on a certain day for us to try and get to see if we can be able to do it. Okay, tell us about the hotel that you're attached to and the experience so far in going to the hotel and being part of the atmosphere there and seeing what the chefs do. Well, we are currently at the Ladder Resort located in Sufre. The experience at the hotel has been great and sometimes complicated depends on what we are preparing. The chefs, they are genuinely, genuinely nice. 
every day they'll call us, they'll show us different things, different techniques in the, in the kitchen and sometimes in pastry. Okay, Zeta, you, are, you have a similar experience in your hotel? Yes, well, we are located at Ladero, also known as the Dashin. And uh, our experience there have been challenging at times because some of the dishes uh, we are complicated in doing it and the chef is very patient with us. Okay, the, the, the mystery basket and the signature and the question I've asked some of your other competitors, how difficult is it to anticipate what the mystery basket might be like and how you're going to prepare for it in comparison to your signature dish, which is something you can probably just perfect by a particular stage, but you're throwing in the surprise of the, the mystery basket. How are you preparing for these two different aspects of the competition? Well, there are some days when we are when we are going to work on our signature dish, and sometimes we take two days off to work on we we'll take two days off to work on the yes. history basket. So that so from there we will manage our time. We will practice it until we master master our dish. Well, for the mystery basket, we have been given different dishes to use and cook and we even get time at certain points excellent so you know that you're also looking at even a, a, a greater achievement not just to, to win the competition but to move on to regional competition is that something that's immediately on your mind or you're taking it one step at a time well we are hoping to reach first place we are doing everything possible to do so we are not worrying about who win this, who win that, so long as we try our best. If we win, then it will be, it'll be a joy for us. We will, we'll go regionals, we will oh, make our parents happy, our chef happy, and also our excellent teacher. Okay. Well, Zeta, speaking about parents, uh, are you being encouraged by your parents uh, to, to, to really do well in this competition? Do they give you more responsibility at home in, in getting the meals prepared? Yes, well, mostly every day I'm doing the cooking at home because my mother found that I have a passion for cooking and like she sees it can bring me further in life. Okay, so uh, as we close in the program, what about the other students at your school? Do they feel excited or are the two of you involved and is there that sort of urge by them, probably stu other students who do food and nutrition in actually getting involved in the culinary arts? Well, so most of them, so. most of them think that it would be a stressful journey towards a two months training. But to be honest, the, the journey has been quite successful. We learn many new techniques. And if you don't ask if they would, if how was it, I find, I'll tell them that they, if they get up something like that, that they will take it. Yes, that's a one time life, one lifetime op opportunity. Okay, Zeta, what, what have they been telling you? Well, the students in my class, especially my friends, they've been very supportive. They tell me anything I get, go for it, and I keep telling them, well, if they keep pushing too, they will also get the experience. Okay, thank you very much, ladies. Thanks for being part of our program today. We've come to the end of interview, and we've closed off with two students from the Treasure Secondary, Marissa Jean and Zeta Fatal, as we continued our Chefs in Schools program and initiative of the Central Hotel and Tourism Association. I'm Ryan O'Brien. See you next time on Interview.